Well, the face-to-face -face format can be kind of loosey-goosey depending on how your day is going. Online learning can be very structured, and it has to be actually for them to follow along. You know, it, you have to have the same number of days in a module. Um, you know, the module should work the same every single week with the same kind of expectations. I try to keep the technical part as simple as possible. I have a lot of students that come back who have been out of school for a long time. Um, who and I also have new grads that have come right from their associate's degree who are very computer literate so I have a real range on that but I don't want the technology to interfere with the learning so I keep the technology part as simple as I can I try to keep it so that each week they're doing something that they know how to do like this is how you're, you're gonna have a little quiz each week you're gonna have a discussion each week you're gonna watch a video each week so they they get into the rhythm of how it works um, but then I have variety in there too. I have them doing an app that's actually a field investigation that's a CDC um, outbreak investigation piece that they do. And, and by the fifth week, they have the handle and they can do that. If I have something that is really technical, I can videotape it and I can upload that. So people can visually look at it they can reference the PowerPoints, they can listen to the audio, and they can look at the textbook. When I have a guest speaker, and they're there for two hours, and the students don't want to listen to a video for two hours. You know, it's just too much for them to sit in one kind of... So I tell them to just watch it in segments, and then somebody actually um, suggested that I break up the video and do it in different segments, but I thought that they would lose the continuity. So um, sometimes I, I put the actual um, guest speaker in, and sometimes I go into YouTube and find something that's just as exciting so that it does mimic the guest speaker, but it's not quite as long. The one piece that um, I work towards and work with and is curriculum design. And so in the end, am I getting the outcome that I need to get? whether that's in, this, in the school building or is that online, is I had to meet competencies and I had to make sure I'm putting out safe, competent providers. So all of us in health technology have to do that. So is my outcome good? Is it better? And so I have to look at that measure. I have to constantly look at that measure. When I give homework assignments, you can tell the students that don't understand quite the subject matter. So then you can give them a little bit reinforce, of more reinforcement or, or learning opportunities. The, the challenge of it, of it though is that you are, you are, not that you're not planning curriculum in the classroom every week, but you're doing it then so far ahead. You have to be diligent about making sure. If I have to have a course ready on day one and the whole course laid out for a student, in something, maybe in a history course, history isn't going to change rapidly. But for us, we have to make sure we're diligent about being very current in our curriculum. So that is just sort of a workload challenge, is making sure if there's new evidence-based guidelines, I have to have them out to them. You know, I can't, and that I might already have that part of the module written, so I have to update it. So that's, that's something that I continue to look to. Because students, sort of interesting, some of them will print up the course almost like a book. So I tell them, listen, there's going to be things that will always be added. And so we've sort of had to build an extra module for new material. Sometimes I have to say that the online class gets more information because if I'm in a face-to-face -face class and all of a sudden the student starts talking about something and the class starts getting involved, then we lose track of what the actual class was going to do, you know, the set schedule, and um, we might not get to something, but it was important that we follow through on what was being said. So, you know, the online class is actually getting all the content, and the face-to-face -face class might not get all the content. Some days in a face-to-face -face class, you feel like you did, you had a really good day, both in terms of um, you know, when I, when I lecture, I don't speak from notes or anything, so sometimes I'm, on some days I'm a little bit more articulate, more clear than in others. In other days also, the students are more alert or more responsive, so we have a better discussion. So I think that if you cr take the time to craft your online, in a lecture course, your online lectures, you can give your best version of your lecture, of every lecture, each and every time.